Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really awesome shark tail stocking. So if you're interested, stick around. If you don't already have the pattern, then check the links below. But if you have, then make sure that your pieces are all taped together and cut out and you are ready to go. So. You will be cutting out two of your main fabrics out of the entire tail piece and then when you have cut out two of these shapes then you cut off the tail and you will cut out two more pieces and that will be your lining fabric. I'm using a satiny type shiny fabric and then I'm just using a cotton. You could use a fleece or a flannel for the inners and then two of the dorsal fins. I will be using heavyweight interfacing and I'm just using that just so it creates some stiffness with the dorsal fin and with the tail. You could of course make your stocking go right into the tail if you wanted to. So if you want to do that then cut your lining fabric to be the same as the tail. Okay, so I ironed on my interfacing onto my dorsal fin on one side and on one side of my tail fin and I cut the interfacing about a half an inch around it just so that when I go to sew it that interfacing won't be in my seam and it'll be harder to turn it and make it look nicer. So you're just going to put your dorsal fin right sides together and sew around it leaving the bottom open and then we will work on the body of the stocking. So you're going to take one of your pieces of lining and one of the tail pieces and put them right sides together and then you're going to sew along this edge. Use about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then you're going to do that on the other side as well. And then once you're finished this, then you can take your dorsal fin and flip it right sides out. Make sure you snip around those curved edges. It will help when you go to fold it. If you're using a fabric like this, you can iron it, but make sure that it is on a low setting or you put a piece of cotton in between it just so you don't damage the fabric. So you're just going to flatten it, make it look very nice. And because it has that heavyweight interfacing, it makes a nice sharp edge. So then you're going to take your main body of the stocking and then you're going to do right sides together from the bottom of the lining all the way to the tip of the tail, all the way. And you're going to want to maybe use some pins or some clips just because, especially if you're using a fabric like this, it gets a little slippery and there's a lot of sewing and moving around so it could get displaced but you want to try to make it as lined up as possible so that of course you get the nicest result. You're going to go all the way around it but you're going to leave about a four or five inch gap in your lining and that will be for turning and you will also place your dorsal fin at this time and make sure that when you're placing it that it will it's going the right way so when you do flip it your dorsal fin will be like this. <laughs> So I carefully sewed around the entire thing, leaving that hole open on the lining piece and then I will just flip the entire thing. Once you have flipped it, then you can take the lining and you can put it into the stocking and then we can start working on our fur trim. You can of course use any type of trim. I am going to be using fur by the yard. You can buy it as just on like a roll and purchase the size you want. But if it's more economical, if you just grab fur by the yard, especially if you have some lying around the house and you can just cut a strip, like three inches is what I used. And you know, the fur doesn't fray or anything. So um, I found that was best. And I really love the fur that I chose anyways. I have, I use a, I use it in a pom pom, which I have a tutorial for that as well and it's just so beautiful and just, anyways. So I measured around the opening of the stocking and then I added about a half an inch. I'm not gonna say what the measurements of the opening is just in case your seam allowance is a little bit different. So it's best that you just create your stocking and then measure in the end so you can have you know a precise measurement for your fur. So I'm just gonna sew along that edge, make it into a loop and then I will place it inside of the stocking like so. At this point, you're going to want to put a loop in as well so you can hang your stocking. So you can use ribbon 
or cut a piece of fabric four inches by six inches sew along the one side inside out flip it and then create your loop that way you would sandwich it in between these layers and make sure that the raw edges is lined up with the edge of the stocking so that when you flip your fur then you will see your loop and then just flip your fur and then you're done isn't it absolutely adorable i totally love it and i think it would make any little sea creature loving child happy so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you can be notified of all my future tutorials and definitely follow me on instagram twitter and facebook and join the community and i love to see your creations as well so if you make any of my tutorials definitely share them on instagram i'm on there all the time so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys